You may turn on your uh, earphones for this one because the hour is quite late and um, I only type with two fingers. So I just thought while I'm looking at these various images and videos that I give you some impressions of what I'm seeing. This is Linda Collins, uh, who is a dear friend of mine. And last week she accompanied me to the second of three celebrations in honor of the wedding of Paris Hilton. We went to a place called the Santa Monica Pier. It's an extraordinary place. It's uh, 1950s uh, David Hockney, Norman Rockwell, um, neon wonderland. It's filled with uh, pizza and peanuts and... Uh, it's like a carnival, a midway, a place just out of time. And the, uh, the wheel, the wheel is the great symbol at the end of this wooden deck that carries you over the edge of the California shore as well as the great abyss of the ocean and the unknown. The rest of the place was filled with all the things that uh, carnivals are made of. Uh, uh, women on stilts who are 10 feet tall, don't know how they do it. Um, games of chance that people play to win um, teddy bears, or in this case, little Paris uh, Hilton pillows and things like that. Um, I was fascinated by the... Um, by the women on the stilts. And those are four foot wooden stilts that they're dancing on. They're six feet tall. So they're 10 feet high. They dance for five hours. And like any other carnival, uh, there were, well, I guess what you would call the carnival attractions and the girls with the hula hoops. Everybody was in uh, neon. I borrowed one of the uh, Polls from one of the uh, ladies just to see what the experience would be like, but I declined the invitation to try on the stilts. It was a fun night. It was very, very different than the night before, which was formal in black tie, but for this evening, our tuxedos were back at the dry cleaner, and we were here. This may be the last time you see Paris this way. Every move that she made last night and throughout the wedding was videotaped, of course, for her brand new TV series, which is on Peacock right now as we speak. And, well, she was right at home being in the DJ booth with the music being its usual deafening level. Uh, showing no signs of wear from last night when she did four wardrobe changes for the wedding. But as she enters into this new stage of her life, this stage may be fading. I don't believe the cameras will ever go away, nor will my fondness and memories of the years that I spent with her This is Nikki, Nikki um, Hilton Rothschild, Paris's sister. And uh, Nikki is, uh, I've actually known Nikki a little longer than I've known Paris. She was, uh, she delivered such a gorgeous speech at the wedding ceremony about her sister and Carter, her new husband, a woman of great great dignity and style. She studied at the Fashion Institute of Technology. She has her own clothing line. She's branded and she's brilliant. I ran into um, Kim Richards, who's Kathy Hilton's sister, and their dearest friend, Faye Resnick, who I've known forever. She's the interior designer for the stars. You name the celebrity house and uh, the lady in the center is the person who is hired to make the place come alive. She likes chandeliers. I like her.
Um, Linda and I uh, boarded the Ferris wheel. <laughs> Looking at the picture, I remember being a little nervous uh, even getting on it. It had been a long time since I had... I actually went on a smaller one at a fundraiser a few years ago, but this experience reminded me more of Palisades Park in New Jersey, Coney Island in New York. It goes up really, really, really high. And the view from the top is spectacular. When we came down, somebody gave me these uh, magical glasses. You put these glasses on. It has a transmitter that you put in your pocket. You turn up the thing on the transmitter, which alters your visual perception of everything you're looking at. And uh, folks, it uh, felt a little bit like being back in Woodstock. Yeah. Uh, if you see those around, don't buy them and drive at the same time. This lady appeared before me um, with kaleidoscope eyes. She was a lady who had eyelids that, well, they appeared to be electrical eyelids. They actually lit up. I'm not sure if it was the lady or me, um, but yes... She had a little battery device somewhere that had a wire that went behind her head and through her hair and somehow got to her eyelids, and they lit up. How strange that was. Um, I told Linda that I could um, uh, win a, a, a teddy bear or its equivalent because of my great hand-to-eye coordination when it comes to games of chance. I was pretending, of course, but... Somehow destiny was on my side. This was fun. Ball one. One prize. Ball two. Well, sometimes you just get lucky. But um, I won uh, a little thing that uh, I gave to Linda that she's bringing home to her lovely son, uh, Henry, as a, as a present. By the way, whenever you come to a place in your life where there's a game of chance, if you don't take it, you'll never win a toy like that. Back on the Ferris wheel, um, well, it, it, it was an interesting experience because when you got to the top of the wheel, uh, I thought it stopped. I mean, I thought it was stuck at its highest point, forgetting, of course, that they have to allow other people to get on board. So there was just a little moment there of uncertainty, playful uncertainty, but the view was just spectacular. Don't stand up in Ferris wheels. There's a little note about that. Um, but look out on the California coast. On one side, you see the edge of Santa Monica, California. And over you sh your shoulder, you of course see the great unknown. And you find yourself in a perfectly correct place to be. And I was with Linda, so I felt uh, extra safe. If you ever get out to uh, Santa Monica, California, try this. They have a roller coaster and other things that I kind of, you know, I, I let that one be but I will go back to the pier one day, to the precious, precious pier. Linda's a real sweetheart. I've known her for about 15 years. She's been married now for a number of years. Her husband wasn't feeling well enough to uh, come to the ceremony, the party, and um, I volunteered to escort Linda. 
and it's so it's just always a joy to do that. One of the most active people in local Los Angeles philanthropic causes that I know, Linda and Lance are both the uh, co-founders of Zen Water. They used to have a product called Core Water that you may be familiar with. Um, environmentalists and uh, good friends.